French troops will not attack Russia if they are deployed in Ukraine, Macron. President of France, Macron, commenting on his statement regarding the possible deployment of troops to Ukraine, has said that he is not certain about it, but does not rule out such a step, according to TF1 Info. An interview with the television channel regarding the possible deployment of French troops to Ukraine, Macron responded, we are not certain that we will do this. We are currently in such a situation, but we do not rule out this option at the moment. I assume discussing this possibility, he continues, we have put too many restrictions, so to speak, on our vocabulary. We are not in escalation. We are not in a state of war with Russia. We just need to be clear, we must not allow Russia to win, Macron adds. The president of France is convinced that the war in Ukraine is existential for our Europe and for France. France is a force for peace. Just today, for there to be peace in Ukraine, we must not be weak. And so we must consciously look at the situation and we must, with determination, will and courage, say that we are ready to use means to achieve our goal, which is to ensure that Russia does not win, Macron states. He has noted that in recent months, the situation has become much more complicated for Ukraine. And so I tell you with great responsibility, the beginning of 2024 must be a start for us, Macron says. He is convinced that if Russia wins in Europe, there will be no more security as Russian dictator Putin does not abide by his commitments and will not stop at Ukraine. The security of France, the security of Europe and the security of the French are at stake, Macron believes. Regarding the new escalation that will drag us all into the conflict, Macron has said, I sincerely hope this is not the case. Undoubtedly, today, Russia is an enemy. The Kremlin regime is an enemy. I have always said this. We are not at war with Russia and the Russian people, and we support Ukraine. If Russia continues its escalation, if the situation worsens, we must be prepared. And we will be prepared, adds the President of France. In the morning of March 14, the Gravoroy district of the Belgorod region of Russia opened fire from the territory of Ukraine. The Russian press reported on this. It is said that one of the shells fell into the forensic examination building. The population was warned to go to shelters. The governor of Belgorod region, Vyacheslav Gladkov, said that one person was injured as a result of the shooting. He also said that three cars were damaged and several houses were damaged. A warning was issued about the missile safety in the Belgorod area. The IT should be noted that on March 13, the Free Russian Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps, and the Siberian Battalion, which are part of the Ukrainian army, warned that they would again enter the territory of Belgorod in course can conduct an operation. They demanded the provincial administration to evacuate the local population. Oh, ладно, побежал, я людям помогал. Охуеть. Смотри. И вогнуться. Смотри, сколько машин горит. Блять, на Есенина на наконечке, куда вниз спускаемся, ебаный в рот, прилет, машины горят, пизда. Охуеть. Короче, вот такие пироги. Спал, спал. Вот, значит, как-то так. А, собственно, вот. Окна теперь у меня панорамные. И вот машина прилетела. Что с ней стало вот как хорошо. Охуеть!
выбило все стекла, балкон выбило окно, кухня аналогична. Oh, oh, oh.